Hey everyone, this is Baylor. So this is going to be kind of like part two. Um, I'm going to call it part three though. Uh, actually being able to authenticate a user so they can actually log in. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and create a new uh, public static. Actually, I'm going to just do function static. Um, we're going to call this authenticate. And we're going to get a username and a password. So we're picking up pretty much where we left off last time because what we're going to want to do in this part right here, this authenticate, is you can see they were able to find a user just by calling user find by username Baylor A. I want to be able to authenticate pretty much the same way. So authenticate a user. And I want to be able to do that by saying if user equals user authenticate And here we're going to pass in Baylor A and our password, which is password123. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to debug our user again. Else, we're just going to echo out failed to authenticate user. Okay, so return or reload, you can see we get failed to authenticate user, even though my username and password are correct. So the way we're going to do this and actually get this to start working and set it up is we're going to come in here and first of all what we want to do is we want to globalize actually we don't even need it I'm sorry uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, we're going to see if we can find a user by the username so we're going to first of all set a return value thing again just like we did in the last video and set our return to the return value and here we're just going to say if our user equals user find by username and we're going to supply the username that they supply here so we're able to find that username um, reload and see everything's still failing um, but here we can say return value equals true and reload and you can see we got one um, and that's happening because now this is actually being successful because we're able to find them uh, if I come in here and I change this to something else you can see failed to authenticate Okay, so we're actually making sure that we're finding our username by the username now. And the benefit of this is if we debug that user here, you can see that we get their password hash and their password salt. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to check and see if password equals the user password hash. So we're going to need to do a few things and learn how the password hash is created so that we could rehash this password. So if we come up here, you can see that our hash is the password they supply and our salt. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to create a new function or new method, make this static. And we're going to call this encrypt password. And here we're going to pass in their password and their salt. And we're just going to cut this out or take it out of our page and return it. And we're just going to say this is equal to self, um, encrypt password, and we're going to pass in the password and the salt. So what this allows us to do here is if we come down here, let's echo out our user password hash. We do that, you can see that we get this hash. Um, uh, I'm going to take this out real quick. Okay, so you can see we get their hash, and this is the hash that's from the database because it's an user object. What we're going to do now is we're just going to come in here. I'm going to add a uh, from the database. Insert a line break. Doesn't work inside of PHP files. Okay, so from the database, what we're going to do here is we're going to echo out, and if we echo out our password, you can see it's the unencrypted port version of it. We're going to encrypt it by calling user or I'm sorry, user crypt encrypt password. We're going to pass in the password here, and we're going to get the user salt. So I'm sorry, not user salt, user password salt. So this is going to find this is going to take the password that they passed, and it's going to get their their password salt. And remember, password salts are specific to every user. Every user gets their own salt, so it kind of makes it a little bit more secure. 
And if we reload, you can see they both match perfectly um, all the way across. Uh, if we change password to something else, you can see that we get something else here. Okay, so we're on the, to the right track. So now what we need to do is we just need to say, um, what we could do here is if we wrap this in parentheses, um, and we can come in here and say, and the user password hash, I think this will work, equals, um, I'm not completely certain, uh, but we should have access to this variable user by the time we get to this. Okay, so if it does, I'm just going to echo out found. Reload, and you see found. Okay, so what I've done here essentially is I've compressed my if into one line. Uh, what we could do here is grab this and pull it down to its own line so they kind of line up. So this line right here checks to uh, check if the username uh, check if the username is found in the database. And what this one does, so let's pull it down here. And I guess what we could do is come down here like this. And make sure the user password matches the password hash. Okay, so that's essentially what we're doing with this long if statement. It's all in one. Uh, the thing to note, if you're not really sure why this is working, is I don't know if I have to wrap it in here, but I do anyways, um, to, to kind of clear up that this is one thing and this is another thing. Um, since what we're doing here is we're saying if this works, so what the and operator is going to do is it's going to say if this is true, then it's going to check to see if this is true. Um, so if this is true, what's going to happen essentially is this user variable is going to be created and it's going to be equal to our return value. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure that this matches. So if I change my username up here, you can see that we lose our little found thing because this failed, so it all just stopped. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to say that our return value equals our user instance. And you can see now down here that we actually got, so I'm going to pull it back out like this, you can see that we got our user because we found by the use the mail rate and password123. If the, pa the username is wrong, it fails. If the password is wrong, it fails. So it's a really easy way to authenticate the username and password, and it's really pretty handy because everything is encrypted, everything's pretty hard to find. Uh, you have your password salt and your hash. Um, so that's everything for the authentication and that we're going to work with in this video. Now that our class is pretty much set up and working, you can see now we're able to, first of all, we're able to create a user pretty easily. We are able to find a user pretty easily. And we're also able to authenticate and make sure that a username and password match. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're probably going to create a basic form to actually make this all work so that we can actually come in here and we can create a new user with a sign-up page and we can also get information about a user using this section right here and we can authenticate a user. So the last thing that I'm going to talk about is that I'm going to put this on GitHub. So it's going to go to github.com forward slash bailerray and you should see a PHP Authenticator or something like that and you can find it in this list of stuff. And it'll be Pass Force Canopy because uh, that's the last one I did on April 12th. So thanks for watching this video and goodbye.